Now, our musical guest today hails from the world of flamenco, considered one of this country's top flamenco musicians. Roger Scanora has followed his love of music form to Spain, where he studied with some of the flamenco masters, and he's here to talk. I don't even know if I want to listen to him play or talk about it, because we've been having such a good chat here. There's your new uh, Ritmo Flamenco, Roger Scanora. That's the new CD. And thank you for coming in, Roger. You were originally from Malta. You moved to Canada, but you go back to Spain every year. Yeah, I was born in Malta, um, um, which is almost a Spanish colony. It was for 300 years, mm -hmm. so the culture is very Spanish. We emigrated here in, in 1968, and I became Canadian, but I started to go back to Malta and then to Spain. I go back to Spain every year mm -hmm. to study and uh, just get the inspiration back. Now, I remember I was a big flamenco fan years ago, and I went to Valencia, and this, uh, any place in southern Spain, Malaga, it's just such wonderful music, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's uh, a Spanish gypsy heritage. Southern Spain is everybody's image of what Spain is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, it's a beautiful part of the world, and especially the Valencia where all the oranges and the orange groves are. Um, uh, and that's where I go to study in Malaga with a master named Pepe Abicuela, who's still around. What about today's flamenco music? I mentioned uh, uh, Manitas uh, de Plata and, and Montoya, but they were sort of hardcore. They're the old style flamenco. Exactly. Manitas de Plata and Montoya are, are what I call hardcore flamenco guitar. And with the advent of Gypsy Kings, it's more like Latin guitar now. Mm. And people love that, and they go looking for something else, and they find it's a little too hard to swallow. So I'm sort of the bridge. Oh. That's what my CD is. It's uh, between the two culture, between yeah. the two types of flamenco. It's like a swimming pool. I'm not the deep end, and I'm not the shallow end. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing I have to ask you: You went back the last time, you and your wife, who's Canadian born, mm -hmm. and you were always welcome in Spain because you're Maltese, mm -hmm. and uh, things were a little cool this time because of a little fish called the turbot. Exactly. It was quite surprising. We were so used to, especially my wife, um, uh, just handing her passport and going right through the gate. Uh, this time it was, um, uh, she's come to the side and uh, have a little chat with the um, civil guard and whatnot, and it wasn't so smooth wow. uh, on our way back, especially. Oh, my goodness. We'll talk about that a little later. I want to hear some music now, though, Roger. What are we okay. going to listen to? What I'm going to play is a thing called Solea. Um, flamenco is very sad and deep music. It's, it's about loneliness. It's, it's called All the Lonely People. Uh, in English and Spanish, it's Toda la Gente Solitario. The first part on the CD.
much. Now, I must mention, Roger, before you leave us, that you're going to be appearing at Miss Productions in Toronto on Queen Street East on January the 11th, 12th, and 13th, and 18th, 19th, and 20th at Miss Productions, M-Y-T-H, for some wonderful flamenco music. Now, the dancers won't be with you there, will they? Or yes, they will. Oh, will they? Yeah, yeah they'll oh, be yes, uh, these flamenco two dancers. Lovely ladies will and, be... And um, another dancer, uh, he calls himself an, an innovator and inventor of movement. His name is Larry McNichols. And he's an amazing guy. So. Larry McNichols, fine Spanish name. <laughs> All right, good luck with it. And thank you for coming in. And the CD again is Ritmo Flamenco with uh, Roger Sconora. That was such a pleasure, Roger. Thank you.